Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to Ross. I'm going to continue on this series. I have a few other stores I really want to go to. Um, but we're going to go to Ross today because I've heard that Ross has some really good things for really cheap. So that's where we're going today. Let me know in the comments if you guys have any store suggestions I should check out. Right now I have Forever 21, American Eagle, and Ross on my list but if there's any other stories you guys want me to check out let me know in the comments wanna shake the ground wanna break away let loose I'm tired of waiting gotta make that move all the neon signs now they shout to me and you to write a story wanna shape the This is the stuff I'm trying on. This is a super tight fitting room. Super small. But we're gonna try to make it work. Um, I had to leave three items because they only have an eight item limit. So I'll have to go back out and switch stuff out. But um, I will tell you guys what I think after I try all this on. I also did want to mention this is a collab with one of my really good friends, Heather from Mama of Four. Make sure to check her out. She also went to Roz. So go check out what she picked out and what she found at her store. But yeah guys make sure to check her out and check out her channel i've collabed with her multiple times already she's one of my closest friends and she's amazing and you guys will love her okay guys so this is the first top um it's a size medium i could size up one it looked pretty big on the rack which it actually i mean i could get away with it and it would fit i love the material it is super soft and i'm trying to see if you guys can see it it's like a really soft material no amelia um, the fitting room here is super small, so you guys can't really see much. I'm wearing these jeans are from Gap, but these are my jeans. I'm not, haven't tried on their jeans yet. But, um, yeah, and I like the back. Let me show you guys the back. Okay, guys, this is how the back looks like. It just has a ton of buttons going down. I think it's super pretty, and it covers the butt, which, again, super cute. Here's how it looks, and I could size up. I probably would if I was to buy it, just to get a little bit of a flowier feel to it because it is a little bit tighter than I would like it to be plus after you wash it and stuff it will shrink um, but yeah it's a really cute top and super comfy come with mama this way this is our room I had to put the stroller out here because yeah okay guys this is the next top super cute still wearing the same jeans um again way too tight on me no, I mean it would it does fit well and I don't feel like it's super snug, but for my style I like things flowier. Um so yeah, it's a little bit too small on me. This is a size large, so I would have to get like an extra large or even an extra extra large. But it's still a really cute mustard color. And it's actually like a sweater material, so it's super cozy and really nice. I'm gonna see if I can find this in the size up because I really do like this top. Okay guys, this is the next one. It's this cardigan. I love it. It's like this knit Aztec print cardigan. I couldn't find a top to go with it that I had picked out. So I just left on my black top that I had. Same jeans. Um, but this is so cute. I love this cardigan. It is adorable. And I feel like this could go with anything like a black color or a cream color. I don't know. I don't think I could like put a vibe. Uh, like vibrant color with this or something I don't think it would go well but um 
super cute it's not really as flowing in the back though um i'll show you guys the back this is what the back looks like i'm gonna take you guys to the bigger mirror though because there's no one in here so i can leave my fitting room here is what it looks like super cute and pretty i really love it i think with some booties and like some light denim wash or even this kind of denim it would look really pretty on love this one really like this cardigan i wanted to show you guys this top obviously i don't have anything to really match it with because it wouldn't go with these shoes or these jeans but this is such a beautiful festive top it's just so perfect for like christmas or thanksgiving and it's like this pattern plus it's super flowy and stretchy i really like it but again i don't have anything to really wear it with or match it with but i thought i would still show you guys how cute it was and how flowy it actually is hey guys so here's the next top super cute i've actually never seen anything like this um not my style i feel like this is a little bit just i don't know this is not really my style but it's still a really nice shirt and it's like this purple lavender color that i find to be super nice but i just like the design of it and how it's like open here um it's really unique i probably wouldn't wear it with this but really cute shirt this is the next outfit i'm wearing these levi jeggings really cute um it's like a plum color i like it but i don't know i'm just so used to my denim i'm so weird when it comes to colors or like pants i don't know just colors and pants in general i'm weird about it but this is the sweatshirt it's like a knit sweater really nice um i wish it was bigger and longer but still really cute even though now looking at it i look like i'm wearing a prison uniform <laughs> i don't know not my favorite outfit but yeah but i would still show you guys outfit it just it's not really my style i don't know yeah but i thought this would look a lot cuter in the pants i have to switch them up because i really don't like these pants okay guys here's the next one it's this super flowy floral top you guys know i can only live without trying on a floral something so this is it it's super pretty the only thing it's it's a little see-through so i would wear like a tank top underneath and i don't know i kind of like how flowy it is okay and then these jeans are from here too and they're really nice i like them and they fit pretty nicely too but yeah i really like this top i like the flowiness in it and just everything about it super cute top like it and this is actually the last thing i want to show you guys which was this cardigan i really do like this cardigan it's uh, a knit cardigan but what i like about it is that it's kind of um thin so this is like the perfect cardigan for like springtime um or to transition into spring so i really liked it I really like how long it is it covers everything and it's just a really cute cardigan and i couldn't find a top to pair it with so i just put on my black shirt and the same jeans that i'm trying on from here really nice and something really cool about this cardigan is that it actually has a hood on it so so it has a hood i probably never wear the hood with it but that's a plus right <laughs> hey guys so i'm about to go and pick up ethan from school but i wanted to get on here real quick and talk to you guys about um basically my honest thoughts about ross my style is very basic, but at the same time, I think it's complicated because it's just really hard for me to find basic stuff I feel comfortable in and I still feel like I look cute in because I like flowy tops. I like things to just cover up all of that mom bod and I just felt like Ross was in the place for it. Plus, this, the clothes kind of ran super small in my opinion. I tried on large and extra large and things weren't fitting right um i did however like their cardigans and the jean the last pair of jeans i tried on i really did like but other than that i just was not impressed plus i felt like my store didn't have a lot of variety of things i felt like they had a lot of that silky material type kind of clothes which i feel is more like geared towards older women and like just not my style and i really trying to say things without sounding like you know I hated it because I don't hate Ross um I just didn't find clothes for me and I just it was really hard for me to put outfits together and to fall in love with pieces so 
as you guys can obviously tell I didn't buy anything just didn't really like anything there but it doesn't mean I'm gonna give up I'm gonna try again next time and maybe put more effort into it and kind of be more creative again my style is so basic and simple that I think that is where I can make things very complicated because of how basic I am. But anyways, that does not, I'm not trying to say that I don't like Ross and I don't like their store. I thought customer service was really nice. Lady of the Freedom Room was really nice, which is a plus for me now. And um, things were pretty organized in the store, which I really liked. And yeah, I just didn't really like their clothes. I don't know. And then I actually figured out that they had a junior section towards once I had picked out everything. And I felt like the junior section did have a little bit more of a variety of my style. But I had already picked out like everything. So I wasn't going to start all over. But yeah, guys, those are my honest thoughts on Roz. Um, wasn't impressed. If I had to pick and choose between Marshalls, TJ Maxx, or Roz, I'd probably steer more towards TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Um, Roz prices are a lot better and cheaper. I totally forgot to tell you guys prices of stuff but I promise you everything I picked out was like under $12 so really good prices all right you guys please make sure to check out my friend Heather you guys will love her she also went to her Ross and I kind of feel like she had better luck than I did at Ross so please make sure to go check her out and send her some love and give her a thumbs up and leave a sweet comment and subscribe to her because she's amazing and one of my really close friends make sure to leave me a comment letting me know, letting me know what stories you guys would like me to check out next um and yeah, I'm really enjoying the series. It's so much fun. So you guys, thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.